Good evening, and welcome to the live music series from Robert Morris University. This is the second show in the series. It's a real treat tonight. We have Tanya Groves and Jeff Groves. If you know music in Pittsburgh, you surely will know this power couple of music. And I just have to say that uh, once again, the live music series is, is being presented from Robert Morris University in Moon Township. And it's the advanced cinema and television class. Uh, the senior is graduating in March, a class run by Carolina Loyola Garcia. And I'm really excited about tonight's show. Just a real treat to have Tanya and Jeff Grubbs. And with no more ado, go ahead, let's have some music. Crystal raindrops fall And the beauty of it all And when the sun comes shining through To make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometime And I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Just the two of us Just the two of us Building those castles in the sky Just the two of us you and I ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -da -da bum ba 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 da dum dum ba ba da dum 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 bum bum ba da ba We look for love, no time for tears, wasted water's all that is, and it don't make no flowers grow. Good things might come to those who wait, not for those who wait too late. And we gotta go for all we know, just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us, just the two of us, just the two of us. Building those castles in the sky, just the two of us, you and I. Bye. 
is a love something A love's just living love something A daffodil, a rose, no matter where it grows Is such a lovely love something That makes the rolling hillside sing The gentle winds that blow, blow gently For they know a flower is a love something Playing in the breeze Swaying with the trees In the silent night or in the morning light Such a miracle Azaleas drinking pale moonbeams Gardenias floating through daydreams Wherever they may grow, no matter where you go A flower is a love something Thank you guys so much. So much music coming from the two of you. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, we've got Jeff Grubbs and Tanya Grubbs, um, among the top jazz players in Pittsburgh, if that's not obvious already. Jeff is a side gig, also being bass player of the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, of course. And they're partners in music. They're also partners in life. Uh, love to hear notice a bit about that. Where did you meet? When did you meet? And how did you get started doing music together? Well, um, we initially met um, I, I should say we didn't actually meet in college, although we, we went to the same school and we were there at the same time for a little while, which is uh, Youngstown State University. Yeah. Um, and so we kind of met indirectly uh, because, you know, we, were, we knew a lot of the same people. And, you know, after I had moved away from there for a long time, I came back and we met Tanya at that point. Okay. Oh, I met, <laughs> I, we, nice. I met Tanya at that point. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, and did you meet, 28 did you meet, years in. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And did you meet on a gig, playing music together at that point? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we were actually, I think it was like a jam session where, mm -hmm. you know, I, I was yeah. the bass player and, and Tanya sat in and, okay. you know, you know, just, it just kind of went I, from there. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you know? this amazing sound behind me and it was like yeah. a big easy chair. I was like, what oh, is yeah. that? <laughs> I can see why. Yeah. That's great. And, and you know, pairing... Upright bass and vocal, that's about as stripped down as you, as you can get with music. And it's really amazing, again, the amount of music you're putting forth, so much rhythm, you're getting harmony and everything else going in there. And how long have you been doing music as a duo? Because I know you also play with a quartet. 
Uh, I'll answer that. Um, <laughs> this is how I practice. Um, I've got uh, the good fortune to have Jeff uh, wow. at our home yep. all the time. So before I get a chordal instrument, a guitarist or a pianist to work with, I listen to the bass and I practice with the bass. So I listen uh, when I'm on the bandstand mainly about what's going on. Mm -hmm. in the bass section and the yep. rhythm section um and the chords are like christmas you know when you hear those it's like oh <laughs> everything opens up yeah yep. i do i do what i can but you know yeah there's definitely some limitations to what i can do as far as like you know providing the all the harmonies you know so. <laughs> and he's great at it he's absolutely oh amazing God. at it yeah 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 that's really cool thanks i'm so excited to hear more um yeah let's hear some more tunes well, we came up with this uh, rendition of this tune during the pandemic when mm -hmm. no one could get their hair cut or feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff came up with this a little morbid arrangement and we kind of been playing with it for a while. Uh, I'm sure you'll recognize the tune. Awesome. Maybe you should mention what, what the first two were. I mean, oh. that was um, okay. uh, uh, yep, Bill right. Withers, uh, Just the Two of yes. Us, you know, sort of our, our arrangement of that. Yep. Um, you know, sort of Afro-Cuban, you know, double-time mm. swing feel. Yep. And then um, this, Billy, Strayhorn. Uh, Billy Strayhorn. Pittsburgh's own. Uh, yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh's own Billy Strayhorn. Uh, the second tune was uh, A Flower is a Lovesome Thing by Billy Strayhorn. Oh, so great. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. And this song is I Feel Pretty, Not. <laughs> I Feel Pretty. <laughs> I feel pretty, oh so pretty I feel pretty and witty and bright And I pity any girl who isn't me tonight I feel charming and entrancing Feel like running and dancing for joy And so pretty that I hardly can believe I'm real See the pretty girl in that mirror there Who can that attractive girl be? Such a pretty face, such a pretty dress, such a pretty smile, such a pretty me I feel stunning and enchanting I feel like running and dancing for joy for I'm loved by a pretty, wonderful boy. for joy. Like a bird on a wire, like a 
like a drunk in a midnight choir I have tried in my way to be free Like a worm on a hook Like a knight from some old-fashioned book I have saved all my ribbons for thee If I, if I have been unkind I hope you can just let it go by If I, if I have been untrue Like a baby still born, like a beast with his horn, I have torn everyone who reached out to me. But I swear by this song and by all that I have done wrong, I'll make it all, all up to thee. I saw a beggar leaning on his wooden crutch. He said to me, you must not ask for too much. And a pretty woman leaning on her darkened door, she Like a bird on a wire Like a drunk in a midnight choir I have tried in my way to be free not ask for too much and a pretty woman leaning on her darkened door she cried out to me hey why not ask for more like a bird on a wire like a drunk in a midnight choir I have tried in my way to be free. Bum 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 ba dum 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 ba dum 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 da da dum ba dum da dum ba dum 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 da dum ba dum da dum dum da. blown me away with these arrangements. So cool. That was Bird on a Wire by Leonard Cohen. For that, I feel pretty. Uh, Leonard Bernstein from West Side Story. Yep. And Thank you. Just so cool what you're doing. And, uh, and 
you have a brand new CD. It's great. Uh, and, um, and Bird on a Wire is actually on the CD. Live at Marine's Jazz Cellar of the Tiny Grubs Quintet. So tell me a little bit, if you would, about the CD. I was hearing a little bit of it before we started. And it's a really cool story behind that came together and how you recorded it, actually. Well, you can maybe say well uh, I had the good fortune of getting a grant through uh, the City of Asylum, Alphabet City, and uh, oh, the cool. Pittsburgh Foundation, uh, Pines Foundation uh, folks. Yeah. And uh, they gave us some money to, um, gave me some money to, to work on some new things, uh, to try some mm -hmm. stuff. So I came up with a series of different concerts, six of them in fact, called the I Am series. And the I Am title comes from um, I Am Interested. I'm interested in collaboration. I'm interested in people. I'm interested in other artists. I'm interested in other composers. I'm interested in composing. So I was, it was a really a discovery on myself, as well as my collaboration with so many years with Jeff. And just thinking outside of the box, all the shows came from one point of entry, almost an aesthetic education component where you know, I would pick a, an idea such as flight and just mm -hmm. see where it guided me. So I had the good fortune of working with some incredible artists, some f f dancers, uh, f uh, visual artists, um, filmmakers. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? And painter. Painter, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> visual artist. And, yeah. uh, and also some photographers, which I think, w especially uh, with backdrop, I mean, everybody learns so differently. There's so many. The Gardner methodology to learning, for those that are, that are familiar with education, mm. there's just so many ways that people learn to, that tap into different sensories with them. So I wanted to make sure that whatever we were doing had a lot of sensory output for people yep. and that are listening so that they could take something away with them. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a great deal of fun. It was a great deal of work. We, uh, you know, at between six shows, it's about 12 to 14 songs. Um, <laughs> not all composed, but, you know, some yeah. borrowed and some reimagined. Um, yep. But uh, it, was, it was great fun. And Jeff and I, it really kind of helped us to tighten up the way we do things and, uh, you know, sort of uh, as a result, uh, we went to New York as an invitation to record an album, um, and we, Jeff and I just looked through what we had done in the past year and thought, wow, you know, we've got a lot of stuff here, mm -hmm. so let's pick some of these things. And yeah. yeah, and some some of the things that uh, ended up being on this album um, uh, uh, were things that we were or had recently or were currently working on, you know, in these I Am shows. So, okay. so, so that that sort of gave birth to this this recording project Very cool. in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it gave us a lot of gave me a lot of confidence um, yeah. to to be a solo, you know, artist in terms of you know breaking away from the traditional you know background music kind of situation because I uh, in college in very much like your crew here and it's it's an honor to be here first of all I don't mm -hmm. think we mentioned that but I was also involved in the theater and uh, production department of my university so cool. it really gave me a chance to kind of brush off some of those skills yep. and uh, you know just sort of think outside the box and. It, it was it was it was a great challenge, but I am so grateful mm -hmm. for it. I yeah, was grateful amazing, that but people believed in yeah, that. It's an amazing achievement, and I've watched on the City of Asylum site. I've seen a show where it, it you know brought brought together pieces from those six shows, yeah. and it's amazing just the breadth of what you did, and so much music, you know, and yeah. and different groups and all that. Um, so the CD, as I understand, uh, you went in and recorded it pretty much live with minimal rehearsal, live. right? Uh, well, we had a couple rehearsals. Yep. Jeff and I drove up ahead of time, and we brought mm -hmm. James Johnson the third to play drums with yep. us. And we met up with David Budway, who's a Pittsburgh native, and his cousin Ron Afif, uh Ron Anthony's uh, nephew. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all somehow related, the yeah. whole Lebanese thing. And uh, David's cousin Ron played with us. So we had one rehearsal with David as a trio, and then we added each instrument. And uh, when we hit play, we just did two sets back to back and picked the best of the best. Had a great engineer, John mm -hmm. Guth, who lives up in the Nyack region region mm -hmm. and uh, as a result we're just like wow this you know I guess I wasn't really nervous about it being live because I didn't know until they pushed play yeah <laughs> I was so focused on just wanting to have fun and it wow. was sort of an our gang approach to yep. making music and it was really fun oh, it was really fun that's magic and, and I know it's getting a lot of uh, radio play right now um, yes. wh wh where, where can people get the get the CD well the best thing to do for especially during the pandemic is to go directly to people's websites artists websites yeah. you can download it and or purchase them there they get a little bit more of the revenue than as if you're uh, streaming from like you know any of the other streams but we're everywhere uh, I have yeah. a hyperlink you could just even call me up on the phone cool. or inbox me and I'll <laughs> tell you where you can get it cool. and I can meet you on the corner down by the get-go sounds great <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is your website Tanya tanyagrubs.com tanyagrubs.com of yep. course I want to say uh, if you're watching that if you're on Facebook if you want to share any questions for uh, Tanya and Jeff um, they will be fed to me and I can ask them uh, during the show also uh, you may have noticed that you did not purchase a ticket to see this music 
And in fact, Jeff and Tanya are here out of the goodness of their hearts. So if you'd like to share a little love with them, think about what you would, might pay to go to Heinz Hall or Kolonama and buy drinks and pay for parking and all of that and send some love their way for this amazing music they're sharing. Let's hear some more tunes. Yeah, all right. got it. This one's written by Phoebe Snow. You make me laugh Cause your eyes, they light the night They look right through me La, 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 la You bashful boy You're hiding something sweet Please give it to me Yeah, to me You're the poetry man, you make things all right. Yeah, thanks. Um, that, I'll talk about the next tune, um, which is um, a Thelonious Monk composition entitled Straight No Chaser. Well, monk said it straight, there's a time when you wait You gotta be on, you gotta be strong, the time is here So trust your life to your ear don't wait for no one, you have to go on Because the homeland is the place where it happens And there's only one to help you go straight No, no, no So don't, so don't do, so do, so don't be So don't be, 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 so don't be,
for jazz band, and I'm, I'm actually hearing live jazz. I can't believe I'm actually doing that. So we're going to take a minute. Uh, we're going to hear rare from... Rare these days, right? Very rare these days. I'm such a lucky guy. So we're going to take a minute and hear from uh, our host, Robert Morris University. We'll come back for more music from Tiny Grubbs and Jeff Grubbs together here. Your dream is to be behind the camera learning about lights, sound, directing, lenses, editing, and storytelling. Look no farther and come get your degree in digital cinema, television, and um, photography at Robert that. Morris University. We have fully equipped okay, studios so and all the gear for yeah, you for to time, practice I mean, together you with set. stellar faculty yep, and professionals you know who will guide yeah. you as you prepare to launch your career. Engage education, global perspective, and professional focus. Robert Morris University. Your, your future, future starts here. here. Awesome. So we are here with... Jeff Grubbs and Tanya Grubbs uh, in a duo. Very wonderful opportunity to have them playing here at uh, Robert Wood University here as part of the live music series. So let's hear some more music. Summertime, a tree is green in autumn, gold and red. In winter, they are frosted white when all their leaves are shed. Mm-hmm. 
I know the sky is blue, she said, and silver is the sand, and apples are the brightest red. What color is a man? Man is many colors, child. Some are yellow and some are brown, and some are black as sightlessness, and some are eyed down. She took her crayons from her box and placed them in my glove, and said, "By mixing all of these, comes my favorite color."
When we were strangers, I watched you from afar. When we were lovers, I loved you with all my heart. But now it's getting late, and the moon is climbing. shining in your eyes because I'm still in love with you I want to see you dance again still in love with you on this harvest moon I did not want that to end. It's so great. It was Harvest Moon by Neil Young. For that, uh, my favorite color, was it Joni Mitchell? Joni Mitchell, Joni Mitchell. yeah. Mitchell. I think she wrote that when she was really young, like 14 or something. No kidding. Like it's yeah. one of her first television wow. experiences. So wow. I that's thought that was appropriate for tonight. Plus oh, the words yeah. in the meaning of that song. The lyrics are so good. They're so deep. You know, I have to ask yeah. you guys. I was, I'm always curious to hear from musical couples, especially ones with as broad a range as your showing tonight are your listening tastes do they do they cross completely are there some outliers that one of you likes the other doesn't like what do you listen to around the house i don't know i mean we we listen to a lot of jazz actually i mean yeah. uh, but classical yeah. opera yeah. yeah um art song sometimes if i'm not in the mood too many like fast notes on the horn kind of <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't focus, yep. you know, but sure. then sometimes I want to hear that frenetic stuff, you yep. know, so. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah uh, I'm the same. Yeah, yep. you know. we, we just, it's broad. Yeah, it's cool. Broad. I mean, it's clearly so broad. I mean, just you're covering such a range of music and bring such a cool thing to it. I've definitely never heard that like that. I've never heard, um, I've heard Straight No Chaser. I've, ac I've actually never heard that the With lyrics lyric? performed. Yeah. I know their lyrics great. existed. That yeah. was just so fun. And as a duo, too, it's yeah. like, oh, it's an yeah, amazing, thank you. amazing thing. Well, I give Jeff a lot of credit. So a lot of his yeah. arrangements are his or things nice. that we've bounced off. But uh, he's a great music director. Yeah. And a great <laughs> arranger. Yeah. And, uh, and the thing about his arranging is that as long as he can play it on the bass, we're good. Yeah. Because if he's, <laughs> You're right. You know, that's it. Yeah, if I can't, yep. yeah, it's no good if I can't. I don't yeah, necessarily sure. pick the songs I want to sing. I just pick the songs he can play. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, he can play everything. But my yes. meaning accompanying just the two of us. So yep. It's, yeah. It's a bit of a challenge, but it's been great, and it's so good for your ears and your rhythm. Oh, yeah. And, you know, exploring things. So. Yeah. I tell, oh, it's, just, it's so wonderful. Yeah, so we've got time for a couple more songs. Uh, Two, yeah. Yeah, I know I've been looking forward to this song, You Must Believe in Spring. Is that yes, right? Yes. It Michelle feels Legrand. so timely right now, not just because spring is starting right. to come, but we all want to get, like, outside again, just outside again, feel some warmth, all that. So looking forward to this one, guys. Yeah, this is a song written by Michel Legrand with Alan and Marilyn Bergman on the lyrics. When lonely feelings chill the meadows of your mind Just think if winter comes, can spring be far behind? Beneath our 
deepest snows The secret of a rose Is merely that it knows You must believe in spring Just as a tree is sure Its leaves will reappear It knows its emptiness Is just the time of year The frozen mountain dreams Of April's melting streams How crystal clear it seems You must believe in spring You must believe in love And trust it's on its way just like the sleeping rose awaits the kiss of May. So in a world of snow, of things that come and go, were what you think you know, you can't be certain of. You must believe in spring.
I'm here with Jeff and Tanya Grubbs, and uh, you can hear their music uh, if you want to hear more of their music. We've got time for one more song, but you can hear their new CD, which is available at tanyagrubbs.com and all the streaming services everywhere else. They also have been putting out a ton of music from their home, actually, since the pandemic began. Uh, first of some, were they porch concerts, yard concerts you were doing? Porch. Porch, and then, and then brought it inside and still streaming regularly every Sunday, is eight that right? Yep. Cool. Uh, you say at 8 o'clock? Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, it's on Tanya's uh, Facebook page, is that right? Correct. Tanya Grubbs, jazz vocalist. Jazz vocalist and right? Tanya Grubbs. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What else do you have uh, coming up? Uh, well, in two weeks, we're going to be featured um, on Cast Party, which is out of New York City. Mm-hmm. Um, takes place at Birdland when there isn't a pandemic. The Birdland. The Birdland. <laughs> and so Jim Caruso and uh, Billy Stritch, they run this program called uh, uh, Cast Party, and they invited us to come and perform a tune. And it's kind of cool because, like, you know, it could be anywhere from someone who plays the ukulele and tap dances to <laughs> who knows, Liza Minnelli, you never know. So mm-hmm. it's it's quite a cast of characters, and it's a lot of fun. And that happens every Monday night, so you could watch that stream. And we're going to be on March 8th. Mm-hmm. We have some concerts coming up with limited seating. Uh, in the Pittsburgh region and thereabouts, definitely a, some on the outskirts of Allegheny County as well. But I have to be honest with you, we've uh, traveled more from our living room and our front porch <laughs> around the country and some parts of the world than we have ever in our in, in my career. Wow. He travels all the time yeah. all across Europe and Japan and all places when the orchestra is up and running. But yeah. it's been cool, and we've That's met really people cool. from the Northeast, uh, California, Hawaii, everywhere. It's That's pretty wonderful. Cool. Yeah. That's really great. And we just had someone tune in from, uh, from New Mexico, actually. Ah. We're saying that, saying listening. So we, and I know yes. we have some other people around the country and a bunch of people locally listening, cool. too, also. It's been such a treat. Uh, once again, I just want to point out that you have not purchased a ticket for tonight's show. They are here out of the goodness of their hearts. If you'd like mm-hmm. to help them out, support their music, and give them a huge thank you for all this wonderful music, uh, you'll see a link on your TV screen. Um, send them some love. It would be just wonderful. We've got one more song, and this is this is one, actually, that you wrote. Is that right? I wrote this song, Sweet. yes. Correct. Yeah. I wrote it on an elevator during my day job. Um, <laughs> but I wrote it to the text of Emily Dickinson's poem, Hope is a Thing with Feathers. Mm-hmm. And uh, listening to a lot of great uh, composers, and, you know, Joni Mitchell's way high on my list, and, you know, I just... Mm-hmm. I, I said, you know, the poem kind of sculpted how the melody would go. And then uh, I brought this home to Jeff, and we fiddled. He fiddled, no pun intended, mm-hmm. around with it a little bit. And <laughs> I came back, and I'm like, yeah, I like that. I don't like that. So it's kind of a collaborative piece, but nice. I did write the melody, and I did write, nice. uh, you know, the concept for one of those I Am concerts yeah. at Alphabet City. So oh, that's just great. a shout out. And, and, and it's so appropriate right now because right now all we have is hope. Yep. yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So. All right. This is. Sully, just the last song. Thanks so much again for hanging out with us at Robert Morris University. And here we go, Jeff and Tanya. One more song. It's called Hope. It's called Hope is a Thing with Feathers. Hope is a Thing with Feathers. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul. Sings a tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard, and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many. 
So great. You need to hear some applause. Please applaud for yourselves, too. It's been too long since you've heard actual applause. Guys, thank you so much. What a treat. Tanya Grubbs, Jeff Grubbs, amazing music here. Once again, show them some love. Uh, there'll be a link on your TV screen. Please, they're doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. And uh, hear more from them every Sunday live. Uh, check out uh, Tanya Grubbs, jazz singer. That's right. Jazz, jazz vocalist. Jazz vocalist on Facebook, tanyagrubbs.com for more music. And come right back here. We'll be here on March 15th uh, with the Uptown Quartet live again from Robert Woods University. Thank you so much for watching. Is that a wrap?